This is Twit. On episode two of this show, I focused on three floating browser apps for Android and anointed Linkbubble the winner of that battle royale. And truth be told, the floating browser category is dense at this point. But an app called Flinks just exited beta and it has a lot of people talking. Let's take a closer look. Flinks is kind of like Linkbubble and Pocket got together and had a baby. First, as floating browsers do, Flinks captures all the links that you tap inside other apps on your device and loads them in the background while showing this floating bubble with its progress. You can load up to four concurrent pages inside that bubble. Tapping the bubble enables you to read each page, and when you're done with them, you simply flick or drag the bubble to the X at the bottom. So far, pretty standard fare. And like other apps, there's also this button that toggles from seeing the web page to seeing an easier on the eyes reading mode that reformats the text and images into a decluttered reading layout that actually saves on data consumption as well. But Flinks also has a built-in read later mechanism. When viewing a bubble, you can tap the bookmark to save it to the later list, which can be easily viewed inside the Flinks app from your app drawer. And if you're scanning a site, and you double tap a link instead of single tapping, that will automatically add that link to Flinks's read later list without loading it into the floating browser. That saves you even more time. From the Flinks app, you also get a running history of all the links you've tapped on, and settings allow you to make minor tweaks like changing the size of the floating bubble and modifying text scaling when viewing reading content. Flinks is nicely designed and offers a bit more than some of its floating bubble brethren, and it's definitely worth a closer look. Find Flinks for free in the Play Store.